Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about why your Nox 3 plugin might not be working. So the first thing you want to see is whether your plugin is in the plugins folder. In Nox 3, all the plugins go in this folder, so they need to be in, in, in this folder. The next thing that you want to make sure is whether your plugin is named correctly, right? For example, let's say you have a folder in your plugin folder and you just say, um, let's say this is called hello, right? And then if here you had another plugin, let me say, let me move this here to hello. So this is an Axios plugin that's just supposed to run on the client side, right? And then this is where we call this plugin on this contact. This plugin is called here in the contact. Um, it's supposed to just right, see what the problem we have here is that cannot read properties of undefined. When we look at the code here in contact, we do not see this plugin here. And so you want to make sure that your plugin is named correctly because in Nuxt, if this is called index, if I were to rename this to be called index, like that, then it's going to work correctly now. I'm just gonna close that. I'm gonna go back, try to run this, and now that works. And this is because of the way that Nux uh, names their uh, components, their, their plugins in Nux 3. So you wanna make sure it's in the plugin fo folder and that it's named index. But the preferred way to name your plugins is the way that we had it before, right? To just call it, um, I'm gonna, yeah, to not have a folder like that and to just name your plugin just the way it is. So that's number two. The third thing you wanna make sure is that you might have code in your plugin that can only run on the server, meaning it's on the, no on the node server, or that can only run on the client side if it has like things to do with the document object model like creating elements and things like that if your plugin has code like that that cannot run on the server right it can only run on um on the client so for example i have if you name your plugin like this axios.client. Yes, this tells Nux that this can only run on the client. So don't try to render or to run this on the server, right? And the opposite of that is that if your plugin can only run on the server, but I don't think server side plugins are named here, but you would, you know, but this just shows that, you know, it's uh, if it can only run on the client, like so that that's one of the reasons so just check it out the the fourth thing is that maybe your syntax is not correct right this is a simple uh plugin here we just import axios and then provide means that the component the plugin can be let me look at the code here that the plugin Can be called like this and you can actually call the plugin say if you were here let's be able to see that you can actually just do this actually let's see what we'll see there i'm not sure if it'll be something nice to see but it might just be is it gonna work yeah so this here is that function so but that's what a provided plugin would look like. Oh, my little baby is uh, uh, crying over there. He's being good, right, buddy? I'm almost done with the video. So that's another thing. So another look at the, the way this other plugin is uh, written. This is a regular uh, plugin written like this. So just make sure that your syntax is correct. And then the, those, if you check that, I'm pretty sure you will have your plugin 
um, running correctly. All right, now I gotta go take care of my little boy because he's getting fussy right now. And hey, I hope you like this video. And if you want to get yourself a Nux3 starter kit that works really well, that comes with plugins and components and layouts, uh, just click the uh, link in the video below this video and it shows absolutely free. You can just download it and it's yours absolutely free. It will help you get started building your own Nox 3 starter kit. It comes with Tailwind too. All right. Hope you like this video. I'll talk to you soon.